Then the next progression would be getting into a volley. So again, Alice has been using that, that little plug here, little knob, to keep that continental grip. And this is uh, eventually, they don't, even, they don't even need the little knob. He, you can play perfectly with it. Uh, we're going to go volley, volley. The first progression to the volley is you're going to catch it, catch and volley. You know what I mean? So it would look like this. Volley, catch, volley, catch, volley. You, know, you see that? Create that space. Make sure that finish up, catch, volley. If, if your player is not at the level, or they don't have the field to do this, you can do catch, let it bounce, volley, catch, let it bounce, volley. Notice we're creating that space between us. Okay, so you have this here. Okay, I went backwards. So that would be a great little drill to do. Let's have Alex do it. So you're going to catch, don't let it bounce, just volley it back. You notice that it's not, it's not that easy. Create more space between you, see, not that easy. Create more space between you and the ball, Trevor. So you get a little underspin on that, underspin. Under, see that ball is not spinning? Get a little underspin, create that space. You're, when, you, when you send it back, Alex, send it back with underspin. There we go. Feel like a volley, there, more space, Trevor, you feel that? On the backhand, there we go. Second one should be like a perfect volley, uh, almost. Keep going. Uh, Trevor, get a little closer, okay? Create space, something you've been working on. There we go, see how much easier it is? There, a little more spin on that, Alex, on that volley. Okay, so see that, uh, all this, it's a lot of skills, and these are division one, very good players right here. So this is hard, this is a hard drill, and it's, it's, it's hard to get to this level right here. And that's why sometimes you got to just let it bounce and let them progress, progress to it. Very nice. So the next progression for this would be we're going to have Alex is going to come in. We're going to do it on half a court. Alex is going to come in and hit a regular volley. But he's only going to hit one at a time. So in the meantime that he's re returning, you're going to catch his volley, let it bounce, and hit it back, and send it back. Um, and I want you to feel like it's a volley, okay? So you're at the baseline, three quarters. Okay, you're gonna catch it, let it bounce, send it back, he's gonna come in and volley. There, hit it. He's gonna come in and volley. Okay, let it bounce, but not vo volley, make the volley, Alex. Okay, hold on, hold on. You're gonna hit the volley in the court. If he was gonna let those go, they were gonna go out. You're gonna volley like you normally would volley. Yeah, there we go, like that. Here we go. Let's work on that split step. There, there. Send it back, come in, split step, move towards the ball. Move, you're moving forward. Split step, move, 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 move. Stick the volley. There we go. He's got time. There. There we go. So he's working on, on racket skills over there, feeling the ball. You notice there's still a lot of movement between where he bumps the ball to where he hits it. Works on his backhand slice, very control, and Alex is getting a lot of repetition on that volley. Very nice. There, there. So think about it. We haven't, imagine how much work we, we've gotten up to this point to work on a volley, and we still haven't even hit a volley. Almost. You just hit a few, but um, again, this all skills, it's all related. It's all about understanding the continental grip.